Welcome. This brief video describes the radar interpretation of storm hazards course, an amateur level self-study training opportunity designed for the general public. When a warning is received by the public, like this tornado warning example, how do people respond? Do they rush to take cover? Or do they ignore the warning? Due to the high false alarm rate with warnings, people tend to ignore them over time, at least until it gets bad outside. Social science research focuses on the need to confirm and personalize the threat before taking action, answering the question, does an imminent threat exist for my specific location? In the warning area shown here, if you lived in Brunswick, Georgia, would you be in imminent danger? It's impossible to tell without other information, such as the downscaled information the TV meteorologist might provide on the air, or simply looking outside for dangerous weather conditions that are approaching. In this warning example, the tornado threat was actually across the southern part of the warning area. So what do we want people to do when a warning is issued for their area? Well, we want people to confirm the danger and make the right decision, not simply to take cover if in the warning area and not to ignore the warning, but rather to take cover when in danger and not take cover, but just monitor the threat when not in danger. To help with this, there's a really cool technology that provides real-time data accessible for free online or on smartphone apps, Doppler radar imagery. There are a large number of radar apps that are quite popular, downloaded by millions of people. Companies like the Weather Channel and AccuWeather have radar apps that have been downloaded over 100 million times. Most people who have these apps have received little or no training on how to interpret the imagery and the issues that could lead to data misinterpretation and mostly use the imagery just to assess if rain is approaching. Online, there's very little in the way of public level training on radar imagery interpretation, just course material from universities that can be too technical in nature, as illustrated on the left, or some online videos that describe small aspects of radar data interpretation as illustrated on the right. Learning how to interpret radar imagery is a skill, just like cooking or driving, anyone can learn how. It just requires basic training and some practice. Teaching that skill at an amateur level is what this course is all about. Radar interpretation of storm hazards is a short online self-study course, a little over two hours in length, that people can complete on their own schedules. It teaches people how to interpret real-time radar imagery that's available online or on smartphone apps. It consists of six units, each 20 to 30 minutes long, incorporated into two separate videos that students complete at their own pace. It's designed at an amateur level for the general public. Here is the course outline that indicates the six units. The course describes the miracle of radar, the issues associated with radar, then goes into the key signatures representing different storm hazards, including a special unit focused on the lightning hazard that goes beyond radar to include some cool real-time satellite image types for anticipating lightning. The course then provides a practice session with many exercises and examples, and finally reviews a selection of online sites and smartphone apps for acquiring real-time radar imagery. So it's a fairly complete training course, despite its short length, because it's really not all that complex. The key purpose of this training is to teach people how to utilize real-time radar imagery to make better decisions on action when a weather warning is issued for their areas. It is difficult to tell the threat level for a particular location just from the warning itself. Radar can be quite helpful in determining the threat for a given location, and this online course will show you how. It is an informal self-completion course. There are no exams or grades. Unlike live training, where you could miss something important if you're not paying full attention, in video form, one can easily rewind and review information as desired. There is a small course access fee, $15 which includes payment fees and sales tax, to access the videos for three months. This is to cover costs to design and offer the course online. However, I really wanted a means by which someone could essentially complete the course for free while getting more people to complete the training. That's how we get as many people as possible to complete it and learn the skill, right? So how can that be done? It's done through a course referral program. If people judge the course as being useful as being beneficial. I want them to refer it to family members, friends, neighbors, even coworkers. 
a participant who gets at least five people to sign up for the course will receive a $15 referral fee, equivalent to the full course access fee. Now, those who sign up based on a referral will also be eligible for the referral program, so they also could essentially complete the course for free. We want this course to spread through positive word of mouth promotion. So how do people sign up and access the course material? They do so through the website shown here, aboutradar.com. Simply fill out an online form using a link that's provided on this website. Then they pay the course access fee using an online link provided on the website. And after payment is made, they're sent to a web page that contains the course videos. This course offers a unique means to learn how to utilize free real-time radar imagery to assess one's location's danger level when a weather warning is received. We don't want people to just ignore warnings when they can learn a quick way to assess if their location is in danger so they can make the right decision. Knowledge is power. Please encourage people to sign up and complete this short training course if it could be of benefit to them. Thank you.